Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Boxer, the technical trader at thetechtrader.com. It's uh, Wednesday night, the 21st of July. And these are the charts today the day at thetechtrader.com, of course. <clears throat> um, we're going to look at longs and shorts today. This is a very, very weak market. The future is down sharply tonight. And we're not even oversold. So um, we may have some dire straits ahead of us. We'll have to keep tabs on what's going on. There were a lot of outstanding stocks in, on the long side today. It excel us with news yesterday. Today it popped, and after getting down to 552, closed at 605, just three cents off the high. However, in after hours, they did announce a secondary. Now, <clears throat> the stock dropped from about 610 all the way down to 535, right back up to 669, 650, excuse me, 569, and um, sitting now uh, after hours right up against resistance. Now, I'm showing you this because the stock's had a long long rip road from December, buck and a quarter, all the way to six. That's more than almost five, well, let's call it five-fold, roughly. So when you get a five-fold increase from January through July, you're going to get some pullback. But I'd like to see this stock uh, and how it reacts to the pullback low, the gap from yesterday, around 536. If you notice, the um, low tonight, again, just for one quick look at it, is... Um, Five thirty-five, right there, and then it bounced right off that level. So if you if you're in this stock and you want to stop it, you're gonna to have to stop it on a five thirty-five. Simple as that. Um, and but going forward, if it does consolidate, hold nicely, it can, and then move up again. We're looking at six and three quarters, and then eight as potential targets. <clears throat> How often do we see secondaries announced? The stock comes down, and it turns right around. Anyway, FIT, nice reversal today. Best looked on a fifteen-minute chart because of the new issue, and you can see that. After coming down and running up towards the top of the channel, it pulled back, ran up, and backed off and consolidated in a coil type of, or wedge type fashion. I'm looking for this thing uh, to get above 47, 80, 85 before it really does anything, but the target's then 52. A lot will depend, of course, on the market. This could very well come back down if it does break. And I would put a stop under 43, folks. If you see 43, you may see 38, so be careful with this one. The upside target again is about 52.3. Flamel. Undauntedly, is moving higher. It went up 94 cents in this market, up 4%. Mine wasn't huge, but the OBV is moving up. And you can see that this stock is at multi-year high territory, going all the way back to uh, highest level since 07. And the next target has to be up near the top of the channel. However, when you connect these lines in here, you'll see that there's resistance in the zone. If it does get through, the next target's in the mid-30s. Long potential for this one if we get <clears throat> any kind of decent market. Take a look at the pattern as it is right now. It's a long rising channel. It's still a uh, nice rising channel since early May when it was 14. Here it is, 25. So very, very good um, pattern, but fighting a tough market. If it does extend, 28, and then low 30s would be your target on um, FLML. GoPro had nice results after the after hours today, despite, and the stock had already been running. Let's take a look at the after hours one more time. Came down, it was choppy, then it ran right up all the way up to 64 inch chain before backing off and getting very quiet. That's a nice hold. Closing at 62.95, uh, which is almost a point above where it closed regular hours. So I'm liking the way this looks. My target remains in the high 60s, again, though, market permitting. Up next is NEOG. I just wanted to point this out, folks. When you look at the weekly chart, multiple tops exploded through in a market like this today of almost 10 or more than 20%. In one day, a huge, big wire for that stock. Look at the long-term chart. Really intriguing. I didn't see that until today. And you can see that if you look at it very closely, kind of like a saucer bottom or rounding bottom in here. If nothing else, kind of an ascending coil, it broke out. I think the stock gets to mid-60s. Again, if we get market permitting. And look for pullback opportunities. It was up huge today. Could get some profit taking. POWR, in the face of all of this, it's a swing trade that did just work great today, up 95 cents or 6%. And a market like this will take it. You can see that it popped out of the wedge, got up to resistance near 17. I think the high today was 16.94. Next target is 18, 19, and then 21. RTIX, RTI Biologicals popped as well. Didn't close great, but it was up. 4.5% or almost a million shares as buying picked up. We're going to need to see whether this is able to get through 7, 10, 11. If so, then maybe we start to accelerate. But 
Uh, the volume was good today, and it turned around and broke out above the moving averages in a declining market. Always good to see relative strength. Sarepta, up another 22 cents, or a little less than 1%, but the, the key is that it was higher, and it was testing resistance. If it gets through here, looking for 38, 39 short term. But we had had one, two, three, four, and the fifth wave is well underway. So careful uh, up in this zone. TNXP with a huge snapback. And remember, we gave you a swing on it. It popped, came down and bounced, but then rolled over hard for secondary support. That did hold five days in a row back up, and today jumping 68 cents or almost 8%. This volume picked up to the, one of the best uh, in a couple, three weeks on, on an update. So let's see if this extends. There's some resistance on TNXP right in the zone, right across there. If it gets through that, I'm looking for a test of 10, um, 10 and three quarters roughly, and then 12 and a half. WIFI, I believe had a good report and that stock popped across key resistance. Take a look. Here's your weekly chart. This is a big base pattern. And the next resistance for me is up here now. So we may very well extend the test around 970, but again, and we're there actually right at that level. To get to this level, the next test would be up around 11 and three quarters. So that's what I'm looking for if this thing extends. Right now, up against resistance in a, in a weak market, you may get some pullback profit taking. It's one to watch though. Let's go over to, let's go over to boxes shorts right now and see what's going on with the boxes shorts list. <clears throat> Starting off with, um, Alphabetically, Canadian Pacific Railroad. Well, did it get whacked today or what? I've been talking to you about the railroads and how weak they've been looking. And that after breaking the key trend line here, it came down and formed that beautiful bear flag. That's what we talked about uh, three weeks ago. It was trading about 172. Today it reached 160. Um, that was down about eight. It really cracked. Now, there is some long-term support in here, and if that breaks, you're coming all the way down to 122.24. Keep an eye out on this one. Dover Corp, one of my top uh, shorts over the last few weeks. You can see a massive top. The neck line was broken. I tried to snap back to it for a couple of days. Got very weak volume, and today collapsed again, or backed off, I should say, $1.73, uh, $1.66. And the way it looks, though, is if this top has been broken, it appears to have been done so, uh, here is the next support level. And, and that creates a problem for the stock. Let me draw that line for you. The next support level, all the way down here at 58, we could very well see another six-point drop in pretty quickly. If the transportations really fall apart, watch for the railroads to get whacked. Talk about whacked, look at EMES. Unbelievable how far this has dropped. In August of last year, the stock was 145. A year later, 22. Now, I've been telling you all along with these bear wedges, bear wedges, bear wedges, and a bear flag here, the stock looks extremely vulnerable. My target now is around 17, 18, would you believe? Wow. Sister stock, HCLP, also getting whacked, was down another $1.53 or 7%. And it looks terrible. The bottom of that channel and some support in that zone tells me it could be a mid teen stock before it's over. Ferro gas, this massive top pattern is being broken. First it broke the trend line, then it broke the neckline, then it snapped back to it, formed the bear wedge, came down, snapped back to moving averages, failed and rolled over today, getting whacked 4.8%. But more importantly, breaking the neckline on this top now it looks like an 18, 18 and a half dollar stock coming up. Kate Spade, well, I've been telling you all along that I hate the uh, design, designer stocks. Kate Spade bro broke here, bounced right to resistance, and came down $1.62 or almost 7.6% today. There is one last line of support here before the stock tests the trend line around 19, um, excuse me, around 17. If we get below that, we, can, we could come all the way down towards 14. QLYS, massive top. Broke hard, rising wedge to resistance, came down. Look what's forming here, folks. It's a bear wedge, a little bit mini one. And if we break down from this, I would suspect we could see a quick test, first of about 32 and a half, three quarters, and then maybe all the way down to 29 and a half, 30. But either way, this stock looks weaker. TAL, a box of short, 
swing short, broke, bear wedge, broke, bear flag. And from that level, 35 and a half, it's dropped down to 29. Wow. Looks lower to me, but there is some long-term support here after one, two, three, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, maybe, maybe. Try net, another box of short. I gave that to you up here in the 30 range. It's dropped down to 25, it looks terrible. If it breaks this zone, we're surely gonna to go to 22, maybe 20. And last is United Rentals URI, which is also a box of short. And that's been moving down steadily from 92 and a half to 78, just in the last couple of weeks, three weeks. So um, long-term chart says we could be down there at 68, 70 before not too long. Quite the ugly picture out there for the shorts. Uh, and even the longs are a little bit tentative at, at this point. So be very, very careful out there, everybody. This is HB signing off for now. Have a good evening.